What's up, Thanks Athletes, it's Chris Harrier. Right now, I'm at the Edge Rock Gym, Miami, right by Tamiami Airport. And just the other day, I went rock climbing for the very first time with the legend himself, Magnus Smith Bow in San Diego. And I was talking about it yesterday with Osvaldo, who's another calisthenics legend that's never tried rock climbing. Ozzy hasn't been training like he used to because he has more responsibilities now. He has a daughter and a son. And honestly, I think he's lost a bit of motivation, but I think this is gonna bring it back. And we all know Ozzy is a calisthenics legend, but will that translate to rock climbing? And does he have a fear of heights just like me? I guess we're gonna find out. So you ready to try rock climbing for the first time? 100%. All right, well, let's just jump right into it. Let me introduce you to my friend, Mark. Just brought along my friend, uh, Ozzy. I've been here already once before, guys. This is my second time here. I met Mark the first time here, and he took care of us. So big shout out to the Edge Rock Gym and Mark for taking care of us. So we're gonna start off with Ozzy with bouldering, so maybe we'll just get some shoes on. After that, we'll take them onto the ropes. All right, guys, I got you guys some climbing shoes. Uh, Chris, as you know, these are meant to be a little tight. We want them to be uncomfortable, right? Um, snug for us means less room for you to slip. Are you nervous? Honestly? Yeah. A lot. Do you have a fear of heights like me? I think I'm good. Depends. Like if I'm like with the nest, like attached to something, you know, like the fear is a little less. Oh, but well then you'll be fine today. Yeah. You're going to be attacked. Well, actually the first thing we're doing is bouldering, so you won't be attached to anything. But you're not going to go that high. Oh, okay. This is literally my third time ever doing this. So I'm a complete beginner. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna show you what I've learned so far. That's actually what I wanna show in this video is you can always inspire somebody. You don't have to be the best or amazing to inspire someone. There's always someone that can learn from where you're at. So let me show you like how this works really quick before we get into there. There's actually a grading scale. For this gym specifically, this is what it looks like, guys. This is the easiest, and then it goes harder, 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 hardest. Yeah, so the way that it works is if you look at the, the blocks up there, uh -huh. it's not the color of the blocks, but it's actually the color of each tag. See the green, and it has this purple on it, so that means that you're gonna be following the purple route. So this route, this purple route, is actually a green level. So we're gonna start Ozzy at probably the beginner level and we'll work our way up. Now there's rules to climbing. All right, so to run you through the basics of what I've learned so far, the rules are you have to start with a block that has the two, like a stripe on it. If it has one stripe on it, you put one hand each, like this. If it has two stripes on it, you start with two hands on that block. And your feet have to start on the wall too. So for example, these if we're going the purple route, your feet have to be on the purples, like that. Or like, you know, whichever one you want, really. And your hands can't go over this line right here. You can't use any other colored rocks, but you can post with your foot against the wall if it's not touching any rock at all. So for example, like, you can be like this with your foot on the wall. It's not like touching assist you with right. the wall. Yeah. Exactly. The last thing is, when you get to the top, you have to have both hands touch the last piece. So if we're, if we're doing this green one, for example, uh -huh. that uh -huh. cube right there, that green cube at the top, you have to have both of your hands touching that. That's the end. That's the end. That's basically the rules. Now, I did learn a couple tips that, that would help. Having your body close to the wall, if your body's like hanging away like this, you're using a lot more strength than if your body's closer to the wall. Using your legs, bro. So like us calisthenics guys, we kind of just like want to like, like yeah. muscle through it, but really actually using your legs helps you to go up a lot easier and preserve energy. Also, doing it as fast as possible because you preserve energy too. So you don't want to hang around too long. Too, too long there. You just want to kind of go up quick. Another thing too is having your arms more extended, it's like easier on your muscles versus like being like tight like this. You know, you're using a lot more energy. This is a green. Okay. That's the absolute easiest. So why don't you take that route first? So feet here, two hands. So I can go here. There you go. Easy, bro. Yes, sir. Easy, baby. That's too easy. Yeah, that's it. You're done. Jump down. Help me. That boy's scared of heights for sure. <laughs> for your first time, that was great. Let's try something a little harder. All right, Ozzy, we're going to go for this purple one. It's one level harder than the one you did before. Ah. Put your leg up. Use your legs. There you go. Two hands up. Yeah. All right, man. All right, we're gonna have Raul, the cameraman, give it a go. Just to give you guys another perspective. Good job, man. Keep it going. There you go. Two hands on the last one. Drop, drop, just jump from there. <laughs> there you go. Yo, Kyle, you wanna give it a shot? I'm 
try this one with you. We're gonna start at the bottom here, this yellow. Uh -huh. Two hands here. You can put your feet wherever you want and then you have to climb all the way up. Some yellows on this side, some yellows on this side. Come around and you finish with two hands on the top of that yellow piece up there. Whew. There you go. Jump up, yeah, put, the, put that right foot on the right side. Left foot on that side, yeah, like that. Yeah, this hand here, switch, grab that one. There you go. Ah! All right, so how do you feel about bouldering? It's tough and down, tough, right? Well, I have some good news for you. We're gonna try top rope climbing and I'm gonna be belaying you, but it is technically easier than this. It just has a fear of heights to it. Before we get into that, I'm gonna try this climb as fast as I can. Time me. All right, so now it's time to move on to the top rope climb. You feel nervous? You good? I'm great. Let's go for it. <laughs> All right, perfect. I'm going to belay you, which means that your life is going to be in my hands, and you're going to climb up, and I'm just going to secure you as you come up. If you fall down, I, I got you, bro. How high, How high is this Walmart? 30 feet. Okay, so this is 30 feet. The one I did was like 70, 77 feet, something like that. All right, so first we're going to have to get geared up. Appreciate you, Mark. You want to put one leg through each loop, bring it all the way up, and then tighten the waist first. All right, do the legs. This is your life right here, bro. Let's get you strapped in. So first things first, you wanna have this touching the ground to around your waistline where the harness is. Make a pinch, go two times. Okay. And then you're gonna put this through the hole, just like that. Put it through both of these holes. Do the bottom one, do the top one. You go in all the way, you go through, you go around, you go through, you go around again, through, mm -hmm. it goes around, and then through the front right here. Now, you want it to make this nice and tight, and you want to have at least two hands. Now what's next? Well, now I gotta get strapped in. All right, so this is what's used to catch you when you fall. So we're gonna clip this on right here. These teeth go down. I grab this, another little pinch like that. Put it into this side, open up the clamp. All right, let's lock this in. All right, so before Ozzy goes up, let me just show you guys what I'm doing over here to save his life. So first I have my hands like this. My top hand is by my head. This hand is right here. When he climbs up, I pull the slack and I bring this straight down. This locks it in so that he can't fall. With this hand, I pull up, bring my hand right back to the top. And as he climbs, I keep going up like this, bring it down. Every time it goes down, he's secured, he's locked in. He's not going anywhere. And when he's ready to come down, I have my hand like this and I just go like this and he slowly starts to come down. You ready, bro? I'm ready, bro. I Hold think so. tight. There you go. Keep going, bro. There you go. Keep it going, man. You're doing great for your first time. You're almost at the top. So you ain't got no fear of heights. There you go, stay close to the wall. Two hands on the last one. You got it? Yeah. All right, let go. Ready to come down. You good. <laughs> How's that? You did really good for your first time, bro. I feel like that was better than me. There's a small one right there to put my feet in a fingertip, like right down yeah. there. If I don't make this one. <laughs> Damn, that boy's flying. There you go. Damn, I think you've done this one the fastest. You got it, dude. If you need, if you need to relax, just relax. Put your, put your foot back on the purple. You got this, Raul. Come on, dude. You're like right there. Get that foot back up. That right foot. There you go. Good job, Raul. That's it. That's it, baby. Nice, bro. That was really good. That was really good. So we're gonna have Kyle try now. To give you guys different perspectives and different fitness levels. So we had Ozzy try it, Calisthenics Legend. We had our camera guy, Raul, try it. Now we're gonna let Kyle try it. There you go. Let's go, Kyle. Use that Maltese strength. There you go. Wow, that was pretty quick, man. You're all the way at the top. There you go. Keep it on the purple. 
Two hands, two hands. There you go. You got it, man. All right, everyone went for the top rope climb, so I guess it's my turn. We went for this pink route right here. Goes all the way up to the top. Dang. I'm already scared. This one? Jeez, that one was scary, bro. Is that one? Oh, that's the scariest part right here. Nice. All right. Sheesh. Dude, thank you, Mark. I love rock climbing, dude. It's like, you always go on a challenge, like really in the unknown. Not sure if you're really gonna do it or not. And you come out feeling so satisfied. One of the best feelings ever. If you guys are ever in Miami, definitely pass by the Edge Rock Gym Miami and say what's up to Mark and give it a go, guys. How can we find you and find more information about this For place? sure, so our website, The Edge or The Edge Rock Gym Miami .com, or we're on Instagram too, The Edge Rock Gym MIA. And if you guys enjoyed this video, check out the last video I dropped with Magnus Midpo, a legend in rock climbing. We tried some impossible calisthenics exercises and we put his rock climbing strength to the test. So this is a golden grip Midas harness. It's pretty what? much what you're wearing today. Oh my goodness, um, thank you. What's special about this is that this is our own brand. So this is wow. a Miami harness. Dang, that's so okay, sick. So I'm honored, man, I appreciate that. Big shout out to The Edge Rock Gym in Miami for the hospitality. Mark, thank you so much. And Pleasure, I'll see you next weekend, no? Yeah, man. And I'll see you guys next week as well. Mad love, peace out.